In this video, you will learn how to get the Hollywood look for your vlogs in just a few steps. Let's get started. Here we've got a regular simple vlog shot and as you can see in the intro we're going to make this look like it belongs on the big screen and the first thing that we need to do is open up the color workspace and select the clip that we will be working on. Okay so the first step is of vital importance and that is correcting our clip and we're going to do this by using the scopes right here. I always use the vector scope YUV for color accuracy and the Luma waveform for exposure. Basically what we want to do is we want to make sure that all of this is distributed evenly. We want to make sure that the blacks down here aren't crushed and that the highlights right here aren't clipped. Now maybe this doesn't make any sense to you and that is 100% fair because it deserves its own video. I actually have a video on color correction which I will link in the description and up here and I really recommend you to watch it if you want to learn how to read the scopes and how to color correct your clips. So I've just done a basic correction so let's move on to the curve section. This curve right here is called the master curve and it controls the luma or in other words the brightness of your clip. There's also a red, green and blue or the RGB curves. If you make a change in the master curve it will affect all of the three colors and what we're going to do is we're going to create a slight S curve to create some contrast. And the reason why it's called an S curve is because it is shaped like an S. I don't go overboard, I just do it ever so slightly. Now let's uncheck this right here to see the before and after. Now that looks pretty good, but before we move on, I also want to change the color of the windows. As you can see, they are now green and I want to give them a more tealish look so it just blends in a little bit better. In order to do that, we're going to use the hue versus hue curve. On this line, we can find the entire color spectrum and if we want to change any of these colors, we need to create points by clicking on that line and as we drag this line up or down, we get a new vertical axis that we can use to change the color. I just reset the line because I want to use the eyedropper tool to really isolate the color of the window and I'm also going to add another point to increase the range a little bit. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to move the points that we just created to the teal area. Now this may not look significant at first but if we take a look at the before and after we can definitely tell that there is a difference and this trust me is going to help us with our color grade. All right that looks pretty good but now it is time to add the teal and orange to our video. Okay, let's click on the color wheels. In order to create this Hollywood-like teal and orange look, we're going to be using these three wheels. The shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. And as you can see, there's also sliders next to each wheel, which represents the exposure. So for example, we can raise or lower the shadows by moving the slider next to the shadow wheel. So what we're going to do to achieve this look is we're going to add teal to the shadows by grabbing this point right here and then moving it to the teal side. You can add as much teal to your shadows as you want, but I personally like to just keep it subtle. And honestly, it also varies from clip to clip and it is just personal taste. And I'm also going to use this slider to lower the shadows just a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the opposite color, which is orange, to the midtones. And this is why teal and orange looks so good and is so often used. It is because they're opposite colors, so they work really well together in film. Now, there's a whole color science behind this. If you want me to touch on it, I'm glad to do it. Just let me know in the comments. But for now, the last thing that we'll need to do is we need to do something with the highlights. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tad of orange to make it a little bit warmer, but you can also choose to add a touch of teal to the highlights if you want to make it a little bit colder. It's totally up to you. And again, I'm using the slider, but this time it's the highlight slider to lower the highlights a little bit. And to really finish this look, we're going to add some vignette because it draws attention to the subject, but it also just looks really good. And this is how you can give any average looking vlog the teal and orange film look. And if you want to learn any other color grades, then make sure to watch this video or this video. Sure pick!